Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how was your day? How was your day? I am fine. I'm fine, teacher. And how are you? I'm doing fine. Everything good, thank you. It is oh. raining now here. Oh, really? Um, where where do you live? My internet. Ay, ay, that Ronnie. Do you know personally? Do you know each other personally? Ronnie. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie. Pues si temprano. Hola, hola. Do you hi. know? Do you know? Each one personally, Selena and you? No. <laughs> no. No. What? For what? Why? No. Because Él siempre me molesta desde el primer módulo. <laughs> Mentiras. Yo no molesto a nadie. Yo no molesto a nadie. Ay, ay, ay. Mm. You, you, you and Selena. Hi, Carlos. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> Moses, welcome. Finally. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're back, Cesar Antonio. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hey, I didn't see oh Jorge. There you are, Jorge. Okay. Let's get started. So today you're going to learn a hi everyone. In this session, you're going to learn. <laughs> <laughs> something very important. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn. Oh, <laughs> You're gonna learn something very important, okay? No, seriously. Buen. Seriously. <laughs> All right. Ayer, ayer en serio no tenía internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is the boss. He is. That's true. Okay. Your, your boss? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 and your teacher, your boss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So we're going to learn three ways of pronouncing the past, regular verbs that end with ed, okay? okay? So, okay, how to pronounce this? What is the sound? That's what we're going to identify, okay? So three ways of pronouncing this is one of them is T, repeat, T. 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 Next one is D. 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 And the following one is Ed. 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 These are the three sounds, okay? ¿Cuándo vamos a ocupar cada uno? Ajá, that is what we're going to learn right now. So, the one with T is when it depends on the vibration of the vocal cords, okay? Mm -hmm. For example, this is the vibration, all right? Hold on. So we're going to pronounce it as T when there is no. Can you understand this? <laughs> When there is no, no. no vibration. <laughs> no and understand. Okay, this is vibration, right? No understand. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So vibration. We're going to pronounce it as d when there is vibration. Okay. And we're going to pronounce it as id when the verb ends in t or that, that's a comma. Eso es una coma. Okay. <laughs> T or the. All right. A little bit complicated, right? Yes. Okay. Look, but I'm, I'm going to explain it. Okay. Va a son esta ED. Esto es lo que estamos viendo. Okay. When to pronounce these three sounds. So let's look at one verb. For example, we're going to say the verb in... Stop. Okay. 
What is the last no. sound you hear in stop? What's the last sound? EB. No, 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 no. The last stop. sound of the stop. P. La P. Uh -huh. What is the sound uh, of, of P? ¿Cómo suena la P? Stop. Okay, now, everybody, touch your neck here. Everybody, and say, Okay, is, is there vibration of the chords? Yes or no? Hay vibración o no? Stop. No, 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 stop. no, 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 Stop. Stop. Like this. Stop. 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 Pronounce it. Stop. 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 Very good. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to Stop. see. Now we're going to see another verb. Okay. The verb is going to be. Um, hug. Hug. What is the meaning of hug? It's, it's this hug. What I is the last? Hug. What is the last sound you hear? G. Uh -huh. G. But what is the sound? Is there vibration? Yes or no? No. There is vibration. No. Yes. No. G, 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 g. Okay, feel it. Let me see you. G. I, I don't see you guys. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. G, g, g. Hey, pay attention, guys. Okay. G, g, g. G, Is there g, vibration? G, yes or no? G, 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 g. Poco. Yes, just, there is vibration. No, there is vibration. Good, 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 good. There vibration. is vibration. So the pronunciation of this is going to be hugged, like this. Hugged. Okay. Hugged. Hugged. Very good. Hugged. One more. I'm going to say hugged. stay. What is the last sound in stay? A. A. Stay. No, solo Stay. el último sonido, el último. Hey. 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 Okay, feel, Stay. is there vibration? Hey. 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 Yes or no? No. Yes. Yes. Stay. Just be right. There is, right? Hey. Feel it? Hey. Feed it. E okay, yes, there is vibration. So you're going to pronounce it as stayed. Stayed. Okay. Entonces, stayed. fíjense. Stayed. El sonido de esta ED nunca lo vamos a pronunciar. Okay. El sonido del pasado es T o D. La única ta. razón por la que vamos a a utilizar una sílaba extra es para diferenciarlo de los de, de este, porque el sonido real del pasado es ta, da, pero si el verbo de por sí ya termina en ese sonido, le vamos a agregar una sílaba extra. Entonces, solo vamos a pronunciar como it a los verbos terminados en ta y en da. For example, we have the verb decide. What is the last sound in decide? De, decide. Uh -huh. the. Exactly. So, what is the past mm -hmm. of decide? Decide. 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 Like this. Mm -hmm. uh, decide. Decide. Agrego esa última sílaba en, el, en la pronunciación porque decide ya termina con D, o sea, el sonido del pasado. Mm. ¿Está claro? Daddy. Daddy. No, that is, that is different. No, no, no. Study no. termina en I. I. Ajá. Entonces es 
studied, así, studied. Ok. Sonaría así, studied. No estoy hablando de cómo se escribe, studied. sino de cómo se pronuncia. Studied. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Right. And what about visit? Visit. Visited. 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 Ah, si usted dicen visit. 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 No, no visit. suena diferente, suena igual. Por eso hay que hacer la diferencia. Visited. So it is visited. The pronunciation is visited. 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 Okay. Is that clear? Visited. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, okay, what about the verb, um, the verb cook? How would you pronounce it? Cook. Cooked. Cook. With yeah. T. With a T? Yeah. Cooked. Right, because no vibration. Cooked. No vibration, so cooked is the past. Cooked. Cooked. Right, cooked. very good. Cooked. Good. What is the past of stamp? Stamp. Mm -hmm. Is it stamped, stamped, or stamping? Stamped. 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 Was it t, d, or id? D. D. Stamped. 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 Mm, but the last sound is p. P. Uh, with t. Stamped. No vibration. Yeah. No vibration. Sí. Uh -huh. So the past is stamped. stamped. Very good. Stamped. 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 Right. stamped. And one more. The past of calculate. Cook. Cook. Past of calculate. 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 Calculate it. Okay. Calculated, exactly. Why? Because it ends yeah. with T, right? Calculated. T. Exactly. And uh, I couldn't think of an example with D. Stayed. Okay, what about the verb rest? Rested. Uh -huh. Rested, very good. Rest. So, like with the extra syllable. Rest. Rested. Okay. One more. Hold on. Uh, I was trying to think. Okay, this one. Live. What's the past? Lip. What is the last sound? Live. What's the last sound? D. No, the last sound. Live, live, live. 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 No, esa es la palabra, live. pero el último sonido. ¿Cuál es? D. No, D. el último sonido del, del D. verbo. Live. 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 No, no, Live. 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 Si ustedes revisan la palabra completa, se van a confundir. Hay que revisar nada más el último sonido. Live. No, no digan live, digan... There is vibration, so... D, right? Live. Exactly, very good. Ok, questions? Is it difficult? <laughs> It may be confusing, but we're going to practice yeah. later. All right. Right now, we're going to uh, practice negative in questions, which we already saw in the video. And now we have some irregular verbs. So pay attention to the irregular verbs. And after the video, I'm going to ask you those. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay. okay. With the microphones and let's listen. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. 
You didn't get up at ten o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these charts, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense, and the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First we add the subject I, then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. These verbs end in in. Finally, we add the visited. Laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so who can tell me what the irregular verbs were? Unmute the microphones. What were the irregular verbs that you saw or that you identified? They're here. This conversation. Conversation? No, no, in the in the video. No, in the in. ah okay. go. Uh huh. What is the past of go? Go went went. went. Yes. Have get have have had had had. Very good. Come. Come. Came. 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 Okay. Came. Meet. Met. 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 Very good. Do. Did. Get. Got. Got. And that's it. Okay. Let's read the examples. Repeat. I did my homework. I did my, I homework. Did my homework. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. I didn't, I didn't do laundry. laundry. Okay. You got up at noon. You, you got, got up, up at noon. Up at noon. You got up at noon. You got up at noon. No, got up. Get up is present. Got, got up, up is past. Got, got up, up at noon. Got yes. Up. You didn't get up at 10. You didn't, you didn't get up at 10. He went to the museum. He went to the museum. He went to the museum. He 
museum. He didn't go to the museum, to the library. He didn't go to the he library. He didn't go to the library. Right. We met our classmates. We met our classmates. That's right. We didn't meet our teacher. We didn't, we didn't meet, meet our, our teacher. teacher. You came home er, late. You, you came, came home, home late. 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 You didn't come home early. You didn't, you come, didn't home come home early. early. You had a picnic. You have a picnic. A picnic. They didn't have a party. They, they didn't, didn't have, have a party. party. Okay, very good. Any questions about this? Eso no. lo que ya habíamos estudiado, si se fijan. It's what we had already said, except that now you have irregular verbs. Okay, we're going to pay attention to that. So, I'm going to send you a chart right now. Check your WhatsApp, please. I'm going to send you that. Let's take a look. All right, let's take a look. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's pronounce it. Eh, ¿Cuál era el que vibraban las cuerdas vocales? ¿El D o el T? Caliente. ¿Cuál era? T. T. Ajá, escriban, ta. escriban en su cuaderno. T. Hay vibración de las cuerdas. Ta. Y T no hay. Ta. No, espera, espera, espera. espera. Look. No, 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 no. El, este está invertido. Ok. Escríbanlo en el cuaderno porque vamos a practicar y se van a confundir. Entonces, con sonido de D van a pronunciar los que vibran. Y con sonido de T, los que no vibran. Yeah. Okay? ok. Now I'm going to send you a list. A list of verbs. And I want you to... I want you to pronounce them in the past. Okay. Okay, I sent it to you. I want you to pronounce the past. Let's do one. Number one says bake, right? Irregular. No, regular. Regulares. Ah. Les mandé una lista. Bake. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is the bake past of bake? Bake simply past. Mm -hmm. Bake. How do you pronounce bake. the past? Bake. Baked. With a T. With T. Yes, baked. What is the past of baked? Baked. Uh -huh. what, what's the past? With, with T. Baked. With, baked. with T baked. or D? D. T. T. The second with D. Uh -huh. I think it's T. D, right, yes, because g, 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 there is vibration, okay. So we're going to practice the pronunciation of those in pairs, okay? We're going to read the list and practice and discuss the pronunciation. Ready? Ready. Okay. So I accept the invitation, please, everyone. Let's read the list. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hi, Carlos. Hi. Carlos. How are you? I am fine, Carlos, and you? Fine. Okay. Very good. Um, comenzamos. Okay. Es con la lista que nos mandó la Bait. Bait. Ajá. La primera era bait. La segunda era con D. Beg, begged. 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 No, no es k. Beg. Es g. Como g, beg. gato. Beg. G. No, beg. begged. What the meaning beg? Rogar. Rogar. Pero no haga el g. Porque solo es g, g, g. Diga g. G, g. 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 
que y quítele la e g, como que lo va a decir pero ya no g. dice g solo dice g, g. ajá g begged begged ajá así Ticha, uh, uh, le puse una pregunta, no es casi su casi no es este, pero siempre se me olvida preguntarle cuál es la diferencia cuando dicen en el punto point, period y that. <laughs> point is for numbers. Ok. Period is for writing. Uh -huh. That is for the internet. Ah, oh, sí. Yeah, like okay. that com that la 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 is for the internet for, for example 100 102.2 fm uh -huh, yeah. si he escuchado que dicen mm -hmm. los números yeah period for sí, writing sí, and that for internet www.elsalvador.com yeah. okay. mm -hmm. thank you <laughs> nada relacionado a esto pero bueno it's ok it's ok y la tercera si sí sería con de Behaves. No, ¿verdad? Behaves. Behaves. Uh, what is the last sound? What is behave? the <laughs> Behave. What is the last sound? Behaves. No. No. Hágalo largo. Behave, behave. Ajá, mm -hmm. y si D, es que no es B, no es B, 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 es V. Behave. Ajá, what is it? Is it D or is it T? D. D, D. yes, behaved. Like behaved. loved, behaved, yes. Behaved. Perfect. Behaved. Okay. Bye. 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 Entonces, change. Te probemos con change. 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 ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería ya change. para simple points? Change. La pronunciación para eso. Change. Change. Yo siento que vibra un poquito. Entonces change. podríamos change con D. Change. 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 Sí, vibra. Ahí está la... ¿Verdad que sí? Uh -huh. change. change. Pero no, no revisen la palabra, revisen el último sonido. El último sonido de change es... Change. Uh -huh. Change. Uh -huh. Change. 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 Ya entendieron. Es que no entendían un y les estaba medio explicando. Es ok. ¿Y a ti? Ajá, quizás te iba a Brush. 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 Ahí se sería ti. No vibration. Brush. No tiene, va. Entonces sería change con T. Ajá, uh -huh, with T, like a T. Otra vez. Found. 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 Change. Found. 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 Como una che. Pero eso es para la base form. Es que siempre vamos a revisar el base form. Change. Siempre he odiado el pasado por eso. Sí, pero hoy lo tiene que entender. Así que pregúntenme, pregúntenme. Pero usted revisa el presente, o sea, el base form. Revisa el base form. No lo revisa todo. Revisa el último sonido nada más. Uh -huh. Y si vibra oh. o no vibra, así vas a ver cómo pronunciarlo. Vale. Como es una tipo che, porque es change, okay. no vibration, it's going to sound like a T. So change. 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 Uh -huh. change. Ahora sí. Change. 
Lo sí. que estamos viendo es que esa ED, usted no le ponga atención a la ED porque nunca la va a pronunciar. O sea, en vez de ED va a decir T. O esa misma ED va a sonar como D. O esa misma ED sí. va a sonar como ED. Así que eso no importa. Lo que importa es la base. Ahora sí. Más o menos. Y la razón por la que le agregamos el ed es para que se haga diferente del sonido del pasado. Ah, que normalmente uno suele decir que el ed se oye como, por ejemplo, en el col, col it, y nada que verba. No, no, casi que nunca se pronuncia, no se pronuncia. Solo cuando el verbo de por sí termina en de o en te, que es el sonido real del pasado. ¿Cómo se pronuncia el pasado? Como te o de. Y el verbo ya termina en T y en D, ¿cómo hago? Ah, agreguémosle la sílaba. O sea, solo en esas excepciones lo vamos a pronunciar. Por ejemplo, el que dice shit, shit sería. No, porque eso es la base. ¿Cómo Ajá. lo hacemos diferente? Shit. Uh, hey, Terminados en T y en D, agreguémosle it. Entonces, cheated, visited, cheated. decided, calculated. Chido. Uh -huh. Chido. 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 Sí. Sí. Chase. 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 Ruth. Hola. Yo le dije que pienso que es una T. What, what verb are you checking? Chase. Chase. Okay, what is the last sound? T. No, no, no. What is the last sound of chase? No, no es Z. No. No, no, no. No, hay que revisar el verbo base. Y el verbo base solo vamos a verificar el último sonido. Chains. Chains. No, no, no. No. No revisen la ED porque eso estamos haciendo. Entonces, digan Chase, ¿cuál es el último sonido de Chase? Es una S, es una S. No, es una S. Chase. Vibration or no vibration? No, es una S. Es Chase, no es Chase. Ajá, uh -huh. so, no vibration, you're going to pronounce it like a T. T, okay. Uh -huh. So, chaste. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. Shit. So, chaste. Difficult. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Cheat up. Cheat up. Yes. Very good. Right. Oh no. Yes, B. Bueno, see you later. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit confusing, right? Pero ustedes me dijeron, queremos aprender. No, igual es parte del tema, si se fijan. Y si no era parte de ellos, de igual se los iba a enseñar. Okay. Do you have your notebooks? Sí, hay varios, hay varios verbos aquí que... Yes. Okay. Vamos I have a en el cuaderno. Quickly. Yes. Okay. So, bake. Okay. Uh, In the past? Bake. The ta or it? The ta or it? Like a T, D, bait. or it? With T? Yeah. Bait. It's a T, okay? T, bait. Very good. Next. Beg, D, T, or id? Beg, beg. Begged. 
with the is the be uh -huh. beg behave behave very good boil behave boil with the aha uh -huh. it has vibration boil. perfect boil mm. No, solo el último sonido, revisen. ¿Qué están haciendo? Les van a decir en su casa. Oye, me preguntaron. Meditando, meditando. Like a D, ¿ok? Borrow. It had. D. D. B. D. 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 Like David. Vamos a decir, ok, para que no nos confundamos, vamos a decir David, Thomas, Id. Una de esas tres va a ser. D de David, T de Tomás o Id, ok. Rush. 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 No. Rush. T. Thomas. T as in Thomas, ok. Thomas. Very. Very. David. 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 Ajá, D as in David, good. Fine. Ajá. Ah, no, este es irregular, no sé qué hace aquí. Found, find. <risa> este es irregular, found. Ok, call. 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 David. Cold. David. Cold. Díaz en David. Debe David. Díaz en David. Ok, challenge. Yes. Yes. Díaz. Díaz en Thomas. Díaz en Thomas. Díaz en Thomas. Ok, change. 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 Thomas. 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 Ah, and, and me decía, uno siempre yeah. dice call it, brush it, board it, call it y clap it, y es cierto, pero al final no se pronuncian, esa ed no se pronuncia solo cuando termina en tewenda. O sea que son mínimos los verbos que sí van a pronunciar esa ed. Ok, next. Cheat. Cheated. Cheer. With the. D. As in David. Chu. Yes. Chu. 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 With T. No. Mm -mm. No. U. U. D. I as in David. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Clap. Clap. T as in Thomas. D as in David. Clap. 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 With T. Clap. Yes. With Thomas. Thomas. T as in Thomas. Yeah, very good. Clean? D as in stomach. D as in... No, this is D. David. 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 Okay, collect. Collect. T as in stomach. T. No, ya termina en T, agrego la sílaba. Collect it. Collect it. Collect it. Compare. Compare. Diaz as Davis. Davis as is David. Some people in their house are saying. Rowing. D as in David. Esto estaba diciendo, por cierto. As in David. Okay. All right. Roaring. Roaring. Now, let's okay. do exercise. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody go on section 4.9. And let's do the exercise together. Ready? Okay. Ready. Number one, Selena. <laughs> <laughs> Vaya, al fin. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, it's a question. Um, 
We can see your screen, teacher. I'm really sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so number it's one, great. read it. Did you hear? Completed conversation. Did. Did you did. have a good summer? Mm -hmm. Very good. Next, Martin. Okay. I, ah, okay. <laughs> Unmute the microphone, Martin. Everybody pay attention. I'm going to ask you. <laughs> 4.9 on the platform. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I, I did. I, I don't know. Had. I have. The pass of have? Irregular. Have. Have. Mm, no, have. porque ya tiene ID. No, no, porque no, pero después, esa, del punto. después del punto. I have. Ah, okay. No es, okay, okay. No es have. Oh, I have. had a great have. summer. Very good. Have. Moses. When? I went to the beach. Mm -hmm. I great. went. Let's check. Yay. Good job. Okay, Ruth, mm -hmm. continue. Did you... When did you went anywhere did you, did you go? No, did, did you go? Did you go? I tiene el did, pero ahí yes. solo es go, solo es go, teacher. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you oh. go anywhere last summer? Very good. Uh -huh. Okay, next one. Who? No, I didn't. Who? I stayed. Stayed. Yeah, stayed. good. Stayed. stayed. Uh -huh. I got. I got. 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 Right, that is irregular. Okay, conversation three. Did you um, take? Hold on. Take, uh, take. More people will participate. Okay, Jorge. <laughs> did you? Did you take? Very good. Next, Ronnie. Take any class, class. Ronnie. Hi. Hola. Hey, take. No, aquí estoy. What is uh -huh. it? Take. <laughs> it's irregular. Mm. Uh -huh. No, it's irregular. I. Talk. 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 Martin. Ya ve por responder. Talk. <laughs> Did you speak English last mm. summer? Speak. Yeah, very good. Carlos. Is it regular? No idea. Yes, irregular. Red. 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 No. Red. Guys, this is read and this is red. 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 It's regular. Moses, the last one. I watch it. What's the pronunciation? Excuse me. What? What? No, no, esa ed no solo cuando what? terminan en t o en d. What? 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 Look, no what? vibration, so t. What? Right? What? 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 Yes, what? very good. What? Okay, let's see. Okay. Everything correct. Everything good here. Okay, awesome. So. Is everybody on the platform? Are you yes. on the platform? Yes. So yes. We're going to do one more thing. Okay, we're going to practice all the conversations. We're going to practice the pronunciation. So first time you're going to be A, 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 and then you're going to be, you switch and you're going to be B. Is that clear? Okay. Right, yes. let's practice the pronunciation. Primero son A en todas las conversaciones y luego you're gonna be B. B. Exactly, okay. perfect. All right, here we go. Jorge, accept the invitation, please.
can hear me. <laughs> Accept the invitation. Ahora. No. No. Voy a probar otra vez. Ok. Check. No. Me dejaron solo. <laughs> <laughs> ok, well. Es que ya había entrado, pero me sacó. Sí. Ay. <laughs> Una vez más, a ver, y ahora no, no, mm. no. <laughs> bueno, practique, <laughs> no sé, <laughs> léala usted. La leo yo solo. Sí, sí, léalo solo y voy a venir a verificar otro rato. Ok. Well, sorry. Ok. Ay, yo no, creo que no. Estamos esperando eso. Sí. Bueno. Right. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok, ¿estás listo? Yeah. Okay, let's start practicing. Okay, start, Carlos. Bueno. Start, please. No sé decir qué vamos a hacer. Practicar las conversaciones del ejercicio. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The pronunciation. Y los ha mandado al grupo, no. No, están en la plataforma. Okay. Es, it is section, let me see. 4.9. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good summer? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Además que tengo problemas, no puedo entrar a plataforma y no he visto nada de eso. Okay. Okay, so practice with Selena. Selena no está ahorita. Hola, no, no puedo entrar a la plataforma, teacher. Sí. Estoy intentando y no puedo. A mí se me cayó también. I can't. It's really. Okay. Mm. Let me send it to the group. Hold on. Ahí está con una. Zero problem. I will send it to your WhatsApp then. Okay, there is the first one. Start practicing. Okay. Okay. Continue. When went to the beach a lot. Went to the beach. Pero no tenemos la otra. Uy, no, no se ve la otra, la dos. Se ve rara. Oh. Did you go anywhere last time? Uh -huh. okay. No, I didn't. I stayed here. Uh -huh. 
I got a part-time job, so I made some extra money. Mm -hmm. Extra money. Money. Mm -hmm. Money. Mm -hmm. Did you take any class last summer? And I got a part-time job, so I made some extra money. Extra money. Extra money. Extra money. Mm -hmm. Money. Did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lessons and I played tennis every day. Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. But I read English book and I watched English movie. Okay. Mm, very good. Now switch. Cambiamos. Okay. Okay. La tres. En la tres conversation tres. Did you take? Solo que ahí sabe que hagamos el B porque ahí se han equivocado es de N 2 A pero en realidad imagino que el de abajo es B. <risa> <risa> o, es, o es monólogo. O, o, o digo yo. O, o digo yo. <risa> Ay teacher sorry. <risa> Ay, toca ahí, toca ahí. Si era, ay, si era, ve. Continue, continue. Yo, yo era, ve. Ah, ok. Did you take any class last summer? Um, watch, watch. ¿Cómo sería watch? Watch, watch. Watch. Watch, um, watch English movies. Mm -hmm. Finish, teacher. You finished? Okay. Yes. Did everybody practice? Oh, no. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Volvimos todos? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know nada más. I... <laughs> I hope you had a chance to practice the pronunciation and the verbs, all right? Study the irregular yes. verbs and study the pronunciation. Very bad. <laughs> Very bad the pronunciation. No, no, not really. It was good. Very okay. bad. Just practice. <laughs> practice Thank the chart. For, thanks for believing us. <laughs> for believing in us. I believe in us. <laughs> I believe in you. Okay. okay. So practice the pronunciation, okay, by yourself in your house. Practice and repeat it, okay, okay. so that you can improve. Okay. Questions? Questions. No? No. Okay. Well, thank you. Porque existe. Para que aprendamos de él y no nos equivoquemos en el presente. That is right. Lo pasado, lo pasado. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for joining tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. okay I see, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.